Okay, y'all, so I have took this box down a separate aisle and opened it up. I, I'm helping. I'm really helping. But here's the herb rockets. Thank you all so much for stopping by today. So today I want to take you all along with me. Um, if you have not seen our first Dollar Tree haul, um, go back and watch it after this but one of the things that i talked about was i have a favorite dollar tree and that particular day it was raining and i just didn't feel like driving 45 minutes to get to it but it's a few days later now and so that's what we're going to do but i want to take you all along with me because we actually have to make a detour um i cannot believe the big box store in my local area has been out of compost for about a month now. I'm not sure what's happening, so I'm gonna try one more. Um, it, it just may be a, a citywide thing, I'm not sure. That happened not too, not too long ago where I went to like four or five different garden centers and they were all out of compost. But I wanted to pick up some compost because y'all know we are about to get heavy with seed starting. And so I use um, some compost in my soil block and mix. So I wanted to go ahead and mix um, some soil block and mix, just mix a bulk amount of that so that as I am seed starting throughout the months, then I'll already have it mixed and available and all I have to do is do the soil blocks. So I thought I was gonna be getting out of not having to gas up. So I took my husband's vehicle and guess what? I still got to gas up. So let me gas up and then I'm going to take you all along with me. Now, y'all, I'm not going to be out here in these streets all day. Okay. I just got a couple places I have to go to and I want to take you along. So let's go ahead and let's get started. Okay. So y'all know wherever I go, I have to check the clearance racks, but I am not getting anything today, just checking. But the good news is, is they do have the compost that we need. So we're gonna go ahead and stock up on that. So this is something new this year. I guess the containers are new, but these are some herb kits um, that they have already put out. I always encourage you, if you're just getting started, start with herbs. They're super easy to grow. And this is kind of like an all-in-one kit. So I am forever picking up stuff that I probably should have left in the store. But y'all know how I always say I like to experiment with different things. So they had a different brand of seed starting mix that I actually want to try. And I always like to experiment. That's what I encourage you all to do because that is how you find what works for you in your environment. So what I'm going to do is pretty much plant the same type of seeds using the two different seed uh, seed starting mixes and then that will help me determine like which one works better for where I'm at. So I definitely encourage you to do that. I probably didn't need to. Um, I'm pretty happy with the results that I get now from my seed starting mix, but you always want to just continue to uh, test things. That way you can make things better and make things better on yourself. So let's get back to really what we are going to do and that's to go to my favorite local Dollar Tree and just to see what they have as far as their garden supplies. But I'm just gonna go ahead and tell y'all right now, I'm gonna take just one more detour because as I was thinking about the route I'm about to take, it's one more, one more Dollar Tree that I wanna go in there and I wanna see. I really wanna go to another big box store, but I need to just get back home before I waste the entire day up um, that's why when I do go out, I just go ahead and get it all in, but I don't need to go there. I need to go home and finish starting some seeds. So let's go ahead and let's go to the detour Dollar Tree. We'll see what they have. They just built this one probably about six months to a year ago as well. They just built that one. They had one that was across the street, but it was older. It was smaller. They built this one. It was bigger. So I just want to check their stock and see what they have. Um, one thing that I did not do when I did the first video, y'all, was I didn't pick up any of the seed starting cups. So I definitely want to pick some of those up. Those are great for starting seeds and I get some every single year. Um, and they're very inexpensive and that will keep me from having to order some online. I can just pick some up there if they have some in stock at this one. 
and I'll start some seeds in the seed starting cups as well. So let's go ahead. Let's go to our detour place. I hopefully, hopefully I won't detour anymore. So let's go ahead and let's go y'all. Okay, so this is our Detour Dollar Tree, and they definitely have a nice stock out of garden supplies. Um, remember, I tell y'all, if you're on a budget or you're just getting into gardening, this is a great place to shop. They have some pots, uh, different pots that we have here, different colors. They also have the hanging pots. So y'all comment below if you've ever tried their hanging pots. I personally have not tried them, but if you just want to grow in some pots, they have different colors a great way to get started a good so uh, a good inventory that they've put out here but what I really came for were the um, pots here I love growing in these planter cups I use and buy these every single year they are really useful um, for me and then here is the seed display that they have put out Again, I don't know. It's something about me. I like to go ahead and get to them before everyone starts picking over them and putting things back that don't go in the space. And, you, you know, it's just too much for me. That right there is too much. But they just put those out. Um, but let me tell you all about my next stop. This is my next stop. And I didn't realize that grow lights were sold here. Um, so... This is something to consider. What I will tell you is I did go online and find them for a little bit cheaper. So you already know where I went. Um, but I did spend a little bit of time, probably too much time, just kind of going over these grow lights because, y'all, I have never seen them here before. Um, they just kind of stood out for me because I was looking for light bulbs. And this particular one, they have everything ready. Y'all see all these boxes? All of this is gardening stuff. Now, for real, for real, if I had time, I would ask them for a contracting job just to put out garden supplies. I am serious. If they give me a discount and let me put this out and stock it up, I will be there every single day. person wondering where the time is going but I literally have spent probably about 45 minutes to an hour in the store looking at grow lights researching grow lights while I'm standing there comparing prices and it's now like almost 12 o'clock y'all I'm tell you it was like 10 something and now it's almost 12 o'clock, but I do it to myself. So I hope I have not done all this bragging to go in this Dollar Tree and they don't have some good stuff in here. So let's go ahead and go in because it was my goal to be back at home by 12 and it is now almost 12 o'clock and I still have to stop by the grocery store just for a couple of things and then um, I'll be on my way home. So let's go in, let's see what they got. I did get some of the pots that we talked about. I did get some of those, um, the small pots and the big pots from the other Detour Dollar Tree because I can always use these. And like a lot of times I will start plants in them and then I'll give them to people who like stop by the house. I told y'all, I'm going to make everybody grow. And I'm like, you just got to water it. You just have to water it. But they're just great little cups to start seeds in. So let's go in. We are by a Goodwill. If you looked at our live about budget-friendly ways, the Goodwill is a great place to go and look for pots, for planters, and also for books. I go in there a lot for books. And I have also picked up a couple of entertaining pieces in there. But I promise y'all, I'm not going in there today. I'm not doing it. I don't care if they are giving away the stuff free. That's what my husband says. 
I'm not going in there and I'm not looking because I have spent too much time researching grow light. So let's go in here um, and see what we have. Okay, so maybe I should have waited just a little bit longer, maybe about another week, week and a half. They are starting to put the gardening items out, but a lot of the shelf space is bare. They have this herb rocket here um, that I saw last year. I don't think I tried it, but they are starting to put some stuff out, you know, with everything going on. Um, it does take time. Believe me, I know I have been a stopper before and just to go through those boxes and put them on the shelves. I totally, totally get it. But here is the thing right here in the middle of the floor are all the garden boxes. So they're in the process of getting them out. Um, if you see all of this, all of this is gardening, but I'm about to get ready to open up this box right here. See, this is why people get put out of the Dollar Tree because they do stuff that they're not supposed to be doing, like me. But they do have the flower display up again, y'all. If you are looking for seeds, try to get them when they just put them out. For some odd reason, I hate when people just like pick over them and just throw them back in places that they don't belong and you just have a whole bunch of mess. So get them now. Okay, so I want y'all to comment right now and just let me know, do you ever talk to yourself in the store and like tell yourself, get out of this store right now and stop putting stuff in here that you know you didn't come in here to get so that's exactly what just happened to me. Um, I just had to say, get, go go to the checkout. Go to the checkout right now. Don't go down another freaking aisle. Go to the checkout. So I'll let y'all see what I got when I get home. We're almost at the, the home stretch, y'all. So I'll, I'll show you everything that we got. So let me just finish up here and then we are going to take it in. Okay, so let me go over really quick what we picked up from this Dollar Tree. Um, the cookies are gone, so I'll go ahead and tell you that. They are all gone. Um, I know this is a gardening video, but I did pick up like two of these Creole seasonings. Um, I'm real big on good food. I like my food nicely seasoned, not salty, but a good seasoning. And I always use like a uh cajun or creole season especially when i'm like baking fish or uh just using seasonings and different things i am like a seasoning fanatic like sometimes i'll blend up my own herbs and spices and we will create our own seasoning but for a dollar i knew that i couldn't go wrong with this one um just using it throughout like everyday cooking so this was a good deal for me now I, again i picked up some more of these little planter pots you can't get enough of them you, you just can't for a dollar um a lot of people are going to be receiving gifts from me and the plants are going to be in this but let me tell y'all about this let's go over this because i actually saw these last year but i didn't really deal with them um but i saw them but this year I said let me just try you know I'm all about experimenting let me just try to see um, what goes on or what's different than starting from like an actual seed so um, we got some herb herb pockets here and we just got dill thyme and parsley um, I think that was all that they had and what kind of caught my eye about this is if you look right here you're just basically going to put these in a pot, okay? So that's why I got some more of these larger pots because I'm just going to place them in a pot. As a matter of fact, y'all, let's open this together and let's see what they look like so you'll know um, if you see these at your local Dollar Tree what to expect. But I want to just try it out and see uh, the difference between if I plant... Um, different things from a seed versus these little herb pockets. So let me open them up so that you can see. So to me, it looks like a little mat. And according to the picture, I guess what they did was put it upright this way and plant it down. But I'll go over the instructions. I guess also if you're gonna direct sew it, you can lay it down like a carpet. So if any of you have ever used these, 
comment below let us know in the comments so that we'll know exactly how they grow but if you're not subscribed make sure you're subscribed make sure you um click the bell so that you can receive notifications because what i'm going to do is i'll update you over the growing season exactly how this plant is doing so um just by the looks at, of it you can plant it in a pot like it has here or when it's time to put out in the garden you can just kind of lay it out like a mat but this is how they um look right here and it does say for pots planters or you can just put it directly in the garden so it looks neat um, i'm eager to try it again let us know if you've tried these what type of results have you had so in addition to the herb pockets we've also picked up a summer bouquet flower rocket now i think this is the same as the herb pocket but what i was looking at on the side of the box is i was like 500 seeds is a lot <laughs> that's a lot so i'll probably put this in a bigger container but i just wanted you to see what is all in this variety and again this is the summer bouquet so this is what you get in this variety right here and then i could only y'all i could only find one of these and i really really looked and as a matter of fact i went back um to look again they have plenty of these but this was the only tomato rocket that i could find like i was going to get another one and go ahead and start it um this is going to be i i definitely want to try this one and i want to tell you why because i want to know how they're going to germinate like are a lot going to germinate or just one because that is um I don't know that's why y'all need to make sure you're subscribed because I'm not sure how this is going to start because if you get multiple to me if you get multiple plants that are coming up with the tomatoes you need to thin them out to one so this is going to be um this is definitely going to be an experiment as a matter of fact I'm going to go ahead and plant this one day this week and we'll just leave it inside um, until it's ready ready to plant out just so I can see how this is going to how this is going to grow I'm interested I'm really interested in that okay so we also picked up the butterfly hummingbird flower mix as well this one has over 500 seeds and then I just wanted to get a little bit closer so I can show you the different seeds that are within the $500 so it looks like to me that these are you know it does say you can grow it in a pot but if you just have a space somewhere where you want to fill this would be a good um, thing to get and just kind of lay it out cover it with soil keep it watered until it germinates and then we also got the painted daisy uh, one over 500 seeds I just can't believe all of those seeds are in here and I'm, I'm eager to see the germination rate that's why I'm acting like so surprised here like 500 seeds and is a lot but like I said I think and we're gonna test it out because you know what I have a space as a matter of fact we're gonna put this out to the side because I have a space in the garden that could use some flowers and so I'm going to just like lay them out over time just see the germination rate and see how they germinate when you just kind of like direct sow them in the garden versus starting them inside so we're gonna we're gonna leave this out just to see how it does we may we may leave the we may leave the flower ones out and just direct sow those but i definitely want to go ahead and start these inside so i can just see how they work so i hope this all was helpful we have been receiving a few comments because a lot of y'all um the local dollar trees in your area have not started putting them uh putting the gardening items out yet and i'm hoping for your area that it'll be out really soon just make sure you keep check on it y'all i'm one of those people that if somebody will answer the phone i'll call up to the store and see how they start putting them out especially if you have to like do a drive and um just develop a relationship <laughs> i'm good for developing relationships with people in different stores like i say I, I learn the people i go in i talk to them 
And so when it's something particular that I want, they'll remember. And then, you know, um, when you call up there, they may be able to give you, you know, some additional information. But I hope that they're out in your area real soon. Like I said, the Dollar Tree, don't sleep on them. It's a great place, especially if you're on a budget or especially if you're getting started and just don't want to put a whole bunch of money into gardening before, you know, like if you just want to try it out. Um, I always tell people start small. And I think that this is a great option for you to do just to see how everything goes. Make sure you journal everything. And so I hope this all was helpful to you. Um, and just let me know in the comments if you've been to the Dollar Tree and they got some things out. What are some things that you have bought um, and what are some things that you're going to plant this gardening season? So as always, thank you all so much for watching this video. And I hope you share this video with your family and your friends. If you are not a subscriber, make sure you subscribe to the channel and tap the notification so that you can receive um, the notification. Just tap all so that you can get every video Every time we upload it, you'll receive a notification. Again, thank you all so, so much for watching. And until the next video, bye-bye.